The World Anti-Doping Agency has voted to conditionally end Russia's ban from sport. And to say the sporting community is disappointed would be an understatement, especially considering the recent series of events that brought WADA to this point. The whispers of Russia's reinstatement started less than a week before WADA was to vote. On September 14th, it became clear WADA's Compliance Review Committee recommended to executives that Russia should be reinstated. This despite the fact Russian doping authorities had yet to fulfill two key requirements. One, they had not accepted findings that its government was directly involved in the doping program. And two, it still had not granted access to the notorious Moscow laboratory. So what a sudden change of attitude sent shockwaves throughout the sporting world. The next day, Canadian Becky Scott resigned from her chair on the Compliance Review Committee. She later confirmed it was because she did not agree with the committee's recommendation. Then, a letter from Russia's sport minister to WADA executives was leaked. This forced WADA to release the entirety of their communications. And a letter from June 2018 revealed WADA President Sir Craig Reedy and its Director General Olivier Nigli suggesting, in the quote, spirit of compromise, how Russia's agency could fulfill those last two requirements. And many interpreted this as WADA softening its stance. The following days saw waves of intense reaction from athletes and industry leaders, much of it critical of WADA. Even WADA's vice president, Linda Helleland, said she would vote to not reinstate Russia since the country has not met all of the demands. By September 18th, international anti-doping leaders released a statement calling on WADA to postpone its decision to reinstate Russia. They say the letters represent a, quote, clear shifting of goalposts by WADA, and that now is not the time for WADA to U-turn on its roadmap. Which brings us to September 20th, when WADA executives voted to not postpone the decision and ultimately to reinstate Russia, subject to strict conditions. If the Russian anti-doping authority does not give access to data and samples from the Moscow lab, they could go back to being non-compliant. So what does this all mean moving forward? Well, it's safe to say that faith in WADA has reached an all-time low. Becky Scott really summed up public opinion. I feel that this uh, was an opportunity for WADA as the global body responsible for regulating doping and sport and responsible for the rights of clean athletes has really dealt a devastating blow to clean athletes with this decision. Plus, what message does this send to Russia? We'll see in the following year whether WADA's strategy will pay off. But will the price of the community's respect and principles be worth it?